the perfect switch. This is how a dangerous weapon can be turned into a lapdog in seconds. How does it work? These two boys here are among the best dog trainers in the world and they have their very own methods. We're off to England. This is where the training camp for super watchdogs is supposedly located. But our sat-nav can't locate the address. We have to search for a while until we finally find it in the middle of nowhere. What looks inconspicuous from the outside is an elite training center for probably the most expensive guard dogs in the world. The camp is run by two young men who have turned their passion into a profession. Robert Dye and Lidor Borland are just 30 and 25 years old, but both have years of experience as dog trainers. Lidor has even trained dogs for the Israeli military. We always get the two best of a litter of ten. So we've got him and his sister. Lidor and Robert only buy dogs that show potential for becoming super watchdogs. At the moment, they have 25 dogs in camp. These two are the youngest and only 16 weeks old. What looks like a game is a character test. But how does Train and Lidor know if a dog is good enough? You know, now the black dog, Bruno, he'll be good enough. We know already, but her, it's still 50-50. Whether she's gonna be good enough or not, she might not make a protection dog. She's the less confident one of the two. He's, got, he's more confident, he's more boisterous than play. So what we do with her is soon we'll let her watch everything. Mm -hmm. Everything that's happening, she'll watch and watch, but she won't get to play yeah. until she really wants to. Not like him, he wants to play all the time. She's sold just as a pet. As a family pet. As a family pet but only if she's okay. You know, there's not going to be any aggression. We just want her to be a stable dog. We don't want to have any nervous dogs. Even as a family dog, she'll still cost around 10,000 euros. He has a very good chance of passing because he has good drive, good play drive. He's not hiding away or shy. If we ever see a shy dog or anything, they're just, we don't, we don't train dogs like that. They have to be happy to work and happy to do the job. Lidor and Robert are internationally regarded as experts in dog psychology. Every dog, puppy, starts with this, with a rag. Only about a dozen dogs become elite guard dogs every year. And even the trainers must show full physical commitment. Because they trust their dogs completely, Lidor and Robert don't usually wear protective clothing. Puppy Bruno, in contrast to normal puppies, is not distracted by the camera or any ambient sounds. This already fulfills the minimum requirements towards becoming an elite watchdog. For him, it could be a long. Cane Corsos is a long process, maybe a year. We need to know everything about his character in, ca in case he develops problems later on. We are, we, he has to be bulletproof in every way, every scenario. In one year's time, this dog could be worth between 15 and 30,000 euros and belong to a professional footballer or sheep. Let's take a look at some dogs that are already closer to this step. Advanced training. All three dogs have already been sold for 15,000 euros each. The trainers find the price reasonable. After all, they look after the dogs around the clock for at least a year and buy them from all over the world. Each dog's imported, and these ones are from Serbia. So I imported each one. I went to Serbia, I handpicked every one of these dogs myself, and that's where they've come from. Last time I was in Serbia, I think we tested 40 something dogs and didn't buy one. And they all have the workability, but they didn't have the socializing that we want. So I need to find a dog that's been brought up with a family that's not from a mass production kennel. Something that's been brought up with kids, been playing with babies all its life. The trainers mainly work with Dobermans. They are said to be perfect family dogs and guard dogs at the same time. We are still a little bit sceptical about this. I mean, you can do anything. They're totally civil. You can put your head in the mouth. It makes no difference. It's just lovely. Lucas who's for a little boy to protect a young boy. 
You know, every dog has a different purpose, so we fit these dogs to different clients. And that is the most important part of their training. Trainer Lidor explains to us which tricks he uses to make the dogs obedient. You want this? So you tell him, and then you take it away from him, and you see his head stays with me, because that's where he knows he gets a reward, he's intelligent. A normal dog would go for the food here immediately, but Robert even ups the ante. So I feed the dog from, from my mouth, so it's rewarded. Also, a, um, a mother would do that to a puppy. So it, it builds a strong bond. Ah, so I look. And he catches it. Hey. So he's always expecting some food from me. And he'll do that for hours. But he doesn't have to, because the boys train the dogs only a few hours a day. This is important because otherwise the animals stop enjoying their work. Watch. Here, the two trainers check the so-called controllability of the dog. Doberman King has to defend his master, whilst risking his own life. If he gets the command out, he must stop immediately. Ready? Out! Close! Close! In real life, the customer must be able to rely on the dog 100%. The exercise is going well, but then the dog makes a crucial mistake. Hey, close! These dogs don't make any decisions. We make every decision for the dog. The only way you're going to have a dog full control is if you command it. You can never let a dog make its own decision. Remember, here the dog has made its own decision and has gone for the attacker. This must not happen. The boys have to invest an extra month of training in Doberman King. Out. Out. The cuddling at least is something he can do. If there's any doubt, he will only be a family dog and not a VIP protector. The trainers now show us their absolute super guard dog. And here he comes. Introducing Mario. He is the dog of trainer Lidor. Mario is a real master in his field, cuddly and a fighting machine at the same time. For a cane corso, what he does is better than anything in the world I've ever seen because he's so turned on and he's so turned off, which is key. I've had people coming off of me recently, I've had £55,000 offered for him. I said no, and then he asked me how much more I take. I said, I'm not selling him. He said, you will. I said, I won't. But if you look through the window and see him, you're not coming in. <laughs> And if you are, you're silly. <laughs> but I've never locked my house doors. So if anyone sees the video, feel free to come round. <laughs> Lidor trained with Mario for 14 months. Of course, a top trained dog should not fall into the wrong hands. Therefore, the trainers choose their customers very carefully and train together with dog and owner. <laughs> Out! Kiss! If I want him to kill him, he'll kill him. If I ask him to kiss him, he'll kiss him. It's my choice what I want. So it's all down to the handler what happens with this dog. But now, you see he tried killing him, and now he's trying to, now he's friends with him again. But what happens if a child accidentally gives the order? If you want to say it a million times, the kid screams watching by accident, it doesn't matter. It's the way you present the word and the way I act and my body posture that makes him act the way he does. And you've seen how many times I just said the word with Rob's face face to face with the dog watching, watching, watching the kids. Mario is able to switch in seconds. But how do you decide when a dog is ready? Now, things are getting exciting. Doberman Enzo has spent a good year in the dog training camp and has his final big test. His task to protect a stranger. If you want him to, um, one, attack, you know, when they asked, but they need to be calm after. When the attack's finished, then she says, out, he needs to just think, okay, I'm back to walking again. I can go play. That's the main thing. Doberman Enzo has never worked with the coach's girlfriend before. Only when she says attack, 
is he allowed to attack? A normal dog would only listen to his master. Excuse me. Give me your money now! Watch him! <coughs> Can you give me your money? Give me your money now! <coughs> he knew someone was there, because he heard, but he didn't react until she told him to. He spun round, he sparked up immediately, and when she told him out, he calmed down and went down. He needs another six weeks, six weeks of training, just to finish everything off perfect, call it a polish off. He's passed, and there's already a potential buyer. But who can actually afford a guard dog for at least 15,000 euros? We usually could talk about some customers, some we've had to sign contracts for, we're not allowed to disclose who they are security reasons and just confidentiality. There's been a lot of footballers, quite a lot of footballers in England and worldwide. Um, there's been a couple of singers and there's also been some royal family and some of, there's been um, an ambassador of a country, I'm not allowed to say the country, but he bought a dog and he wants another one soon. I'd like to say who, but I'm not allowed. And how effective is such a super guard dog in real life? We're allowed to accompany the trainers exclusively to a customer who bought a watchdog for 10,000 euros some months ago. She wants to show us how the dog makes her life safer. Hi. Hello. How have you been? Hi, Isam. It's been good. Owner Lizzie is not a millionaire. She lives alone and has been saving up for the dog for a long time. The reason? is to protect her from a violent ex-husband. How he does it, we'll see in a moment. Coach Robert slips into the role of the burglar for us. Before Lizzie got the dog, her ex-husband broke into her house several times. I was living my life in constant fear. I never, just never left the house. Just like I didn't sleep, I didn't, I used to wake up like every 10 minutes and like convince somebody was there. So then that's when he was allowed to sleep on the bed after that night. And then I just started sleeping. I used to wake up and think, oh, it's all right, the dog's there, reach out for him. And then I just stopped even waking up. So, and like a month and stuff's a long time when you've not slept. It was just a hellish period of my life. Since owner Lizzie has had the elite watchdog, her ex-husband hasn't dared to enter the property again. But could Robert, as a former trainer, now turn the dog against his owner, Lizzie? You cannot go for the owner. Once they have a bond, this is why we leave them for two, three weeks to bond. So they know they can never sort of attack their owner and think he's with Alicia 24-7 every day. It's just, it just wouldn't even enter his mind to attack. For Lizzie, having the super guard dog to make her life safer was definitely worth the 10,000 euro price tag. And in Ism, she's also found a friend for life. 